Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary blind playthrough on Grandmaster difficulty. I needed to cut the last episode a bit short because I had another appointment, but we have opened the box of Pandora. Let me just show you. Typically we're jumping right into a mission, but today it's a bit different. Uh, we do have new research available with just this one source of bloom research that we have finally gotten and there is much to unpack here. So for starters we now have uh, five different seats instead of uh, just one which means all of the follow-up research will take different seats in fact. And there are a couple of cool things uh, for instance there is like one line uh, the healing line which will revive four knights, heal everybody, then there is the teleport uh, resilience line which goes all the way up to domination which i personally think is super cool we're going to check that out then we do have immobile uh, into blast into uh, muta uh, mutation uh, cleansing into just everybody receives stun type of line so these seem to be kind of the orbital interferences and then we do have 50 percent crit into three armor into um, everybody gets purified and healed and loses their affliction so lots of cool stratagems really on the other side here uh, the um, other lines are moving forward so stratagem slot here um, into uh, one will one knight will receive um, all of the willpower or all knights receive three willpower both seem quite cool um, the one that I went uh, for was the bloom suppression minus 10 on the warp surge per turn that really worked out very nicely and I think we're just going to go with uh, with that because if we have minus 15 warp per turn that just means we have a much smoother mission all over the place. Then we do have complete warp or surge prevention and then reduction of warp for even three turns. So that's cool as well. Um, finally, we got more seats on extraction. I think that's one of the things that I would uh, also research relatively, uh, relatively early. And we got another Codex Toxicus, uh, which potentially opens up even more so man this game is going to be wild on top of which we are now finding ourselves in a larger galaxy look at that it's not that large that it is threateningly large but it is definitely large so we got these planets here um, with our attuned prognosticar but I've already calculated that we will need a few more prognosticars and where I would want uh, to put them is one over here uh, so that all of these planets are prognosticard um, potentially one over here so that all of these planets are prognosticard potentially one over here so that all of these planets are prognosticard one over here so that we get that and then finally likely one over here so that we get that uh, upper epsilon but yeah we're now seeing bloom all over the galaxy uh, let's remind ourselves we need to get out of the warp storm here and since we have three bloom here and uh, two bloom there i will just stay here for now uh, you need to stay somewhere and what becomes apparent is that if we're getting four afflictions every time, I don't know how we're going to combat off all of uh, the bloom. That's unlikely not going to happen. Let's advance the time a little bit. The second interesting uh, piece that I realized is we have essentially reached the maximum level okay wait a second purity seals commander i've been studying my data and we now have um, purity seals to adorn to your knight's arms and armor i don't know what that is yet new mutations the threat is magnified, Inquisitor. 
I grow weary of your self-righteousness, Ektar. Ah, Commander. As predicted, the bloom is mutating. New and potent strains now plague the sector. Five distinct strains. We have already encountered the bloom I've called Poxus, the strain of disease. The infected do not perish, but are cursed with a blight that molders even into their minds. This one I name Mortis, the strain of death. This noxious mutation annihilates entire populations before tearing the dead from their graves. Here is the bloom necrosis, the strain of decay. It binds itself to all things living and mechanical, rotting all it touches. Here we have the bloom dolorous, the strain of agony. It emits a compound that afflicts hysterical delusions and nightmarish torment on its sufferers. Last and most insidious, the Bloom Tentaris, the strain of growth. This malady corrupts the purity of the human form with powerful mutations. A corrupt gift from the Plague God. Your taxonomy has been enlightening, Inquisitor, but the Bloom continues to spread as we dither in details. We must respond at once. All right. Fair enough. Three new I need eruptions. The seeds intact for further study. Can we even get there? No. All right. We can go to, uh, get to here or here. That would be requisition plus one. And down here we get servitors, which I think we need more. So unfortunately, the reality for us is unless we do have warp gates or anything of that nature, we're going to fall short in reducing bloom everywhere. We will speed up our traveling speed, but there is much, uh, much that needs doing. So we increased our ship. Hull integrity is now two out of four. And in order to continue that, I would love to get more void shields up. But that's currently unfortunately not possible. Not enough servitors. Warp drive three would be nice as well because that's another 20% ship speed. So that's relatively urgent. And I think we're just going to go with uh, the Aujorium for now. Hull integrity is good enough to go to, uh, through one more warp storm and we can then improve it one more time afterwards. What I was about to say before we were looking at the, uh, the cinematic was we have now reached maximum level on enders and that's a bit of a problem because i don't want to waste any experience so i think we're going to use other battle brothers i Santor. still don't fully understand maybe we just can't get all of the abilities don't get me wrong his build is very very nice but a little bit better support fire would have been good so a level more here and maybe a few more points here to get that war gear slot would have been great it's not the end of the world but it certainly would have been a nice option on the on the other side we're researching very very fast so let's just continue can't do that which is the other high priority research so let's just continue with the warp search per turn because if we go down to minus 15 warp search that would be awesome that's a really really strong base at the moment we're already at minus 10 which is good
Kill nine enemies with melee weapons. Would look that should not be a problem. We're finding ourselves in not particular high corruption. Four eliminate OC carriers. Okay, that's basically just kill four enemies. We're going to do that with melee weapons. And we are going to get a new interceptor. Either JP Pauly or Fluffy. Follow I ladies. think JP Pauly had the right skills, right? Yeah, okay. He is teleportation spec, that's good. I like the teleportation boost as well. I also like uh, support fire, so maybe we're going to go into that a little bit earlier. And I'm just trying out how support fire works. The teleportation isn't bad, don't get me wrong. But uh, further teleportation is great and support fire is good as well. All right. But it will fortify the spirit of Okay. Linus is going to get a new weapon in a second. Uh, that all makes sense. Max hit points is fine. Not being able to be afflicted by plague uh, is fantastic. Let's get the hobbled uh, thing that isn't bad either. Good, and there's a war gear slot. The disruptor worked super well with us so far. Unfortunately, we don't have a passive war. Well, you know what? We do have uh, one that'll give them more warp capabilities. I like that. And then finally, Linus gets a new Storm Bolter, the 5 damage Storm Bolter. I like that. And I think uh, the arm of Linus allows no distance fall off of ranged weapons. That will be so good. Good. Um, I think we, have our, uh, we got ourselves a good team overall. JP, of course, is a little bit lower level than the others, but pfft, whatever. Not sure why we don't have a prognosticar here. But I think we're fine. Gate of Infinity is good. Strength of the uh, Spirit is good as well. So all we need to do is kill enough enemies with melee weapons and that really should not be a problem for us. Let's go boys. Destination located. The Court of the Seven Miseries has been spotted within this war zone. Nurgle's minions clearly seek out places where death and decay are most rampant. More fuel for the fire of the bloom. We must stop the seeds from taking root here. Oh, we got new seed carriers. Keep in mind, if we kill the seed carriers with melee attacks, we're extracting the seed. Enemy patrol and three seed carriers. Here. We're moving in. Sabers. Oh, finally a couple of new environments to fight in. Good, handing over that little buff to you. There you go, you got the warp speed now. I am here to sell.
and this will trigger. Surprise! Hello nice. there. I see you, I see you, I see one. Here's a good spot. Wow. Brothers, straight from the chapter. Very good, so. Technically, the turn wasn't My over yet. If hmm, that's not far enough, unfortunately. Standing ready. All right. Your orders. Let's do a bit of an interruption here and there. Uh, I think we got the disruptor school, but we do not have the necessary. My blade is yours. Good. This could be a kill. Well, that was a good strike, nonetheless. Is Sheesh. What is your will? As ordered. Good, we're moving up. I think we're going to use a hailer school here. Just to let these guys attack it. Fantastic. This uh, refreshes a few will points. Fantastic. Continuing to disarm. Wonderful. That was a great hit. <laughs> this is the disarm. Uh, the well, disarm is the wrong word. It, it's quite literally a disarm. So it might really be the right word. Unleash me. It. Good. Problem solved. Advancing. We're moving in. Darkness. And hmm, I mean this guy here. Yeah, let's just kill him. Yes, Commander. To the golden Good, we're beginning to teach him a very valuable lesson. Men will 
And we're setting these guys up for a nice little kill. Good. Regaining some of the will points. That one worked uh, very well. So let's just double check. Four roll points. Uh, minor spends. Really nothing to write home about. Can use the high ground here. Taking position. I like those little containers. Great cover. But we're uh, using or abusing the action economy system here. Unleash me. As we just regained all of our um, action points after that fight. Standing ready. The unfaithful are here. Ready and this will trigger yet another yet another round so we're staying in the same round Commander, we've made contact with the enemy we have indeed made contact with the enemy this will go a long way Zoe sanctifies the kill zone. Get out of there! Beyond us. Another one. That's a kill. Into one, two, into. One, two, three, four, five. I am the Emperor's Fury. Purge complete. Rain. One more. Very good. Down to one hit point. Okay, I'll see how it's going. Your orders?
I'm done. Let's remove some of the cover, which might help us. Ammo depleted. Who's up? And that's a kill. You have been judged. And I think we're just going to melee attack. That'll make it more difficult for him to disengage. I could have used another Halo school. I think we're okay. He will use uh, his sonic blast and something else. Trying to trigger that other pack. Yes, I am keenly aware that they are near. This guy is in full cover. This will trigger. My blade is yours. I am here to serve. Can't hit that because. He's in full cover I as well. Hmm. Even a small amount of damage will? would already be sufficient, but it's difficult. Hmm. Standing ready. That might not trigger. Silver Knights. Brothers, strike for the chapter. Unfortunately, dead wrong. Let's see what the Halo Skull brings. Fantastic. That'll buy us an entire turn. Let's try that Iron Arm Biomancy. Is it any good is the question. Can we really work with it? I should have waited on the next turn. Well, never mind. We have yeah, that was not clever. 
Yeah, that was clever. Anyways, I still need to find the right uh, the right timing for that uh, stun. Let's not make it too complicated, shall we? Vulnerable is it always a good option? One very good the hit. Is wounded. Great hit. Another good hit. And we're softening it up for a kill. There's the kill. Taste to death. Four. Regaining some of the willpower. Spending said willpower immediately for more media damage. Great hit. I strike true. still are in the same round so might as well use that to our advantage I'm trying to stay in this round Anyways, we heard 
with you coming. Yeah, we made no secret out of our appearance. I bring death and decay. Standing ready. My blade is yours. Eat this hot metal. Jim charges forward and breaks their cover plus their armor. Very well done. Good job, Jim. Oh, no, it's not Jim, it was Linus. How could I be so blind? Yes, Commander. Yeah, we're immediately going to disable the media attack. Fantastic, that's a good hit. Wounded. Your orders. All right, extract that seat. I think we're fine. No demon shall avoid its fate. Good. That should trigger support fire. Oh no, because we were hmm, what is your out of range. Okay, I see. Well, still good enough. Okay, nothing that we couldn't handle. I will fight from here. Unleash me. Yes, Commander. I must rearm. And you can do that in a second. I am here to serve. Zabaz. Your will. Opening fire. One. You have 
been judged. Shoot. Oh, destroyed, Commander. And in which case, we are going to go to here. This guy should be an autocrit. Emperor, guide my hand. And that means no pestilence explosion. Thank you. I have oh just a melee weapon Another falls to the knights of Titan Well might as well just armor up we're good interesting how the difficulty of the mission so vastly differs like this one for instance was very straightforward granted three of our members are also already quite strong hold one more round for extraction yeah fair enough Teach your manners, and after he learned that, a brief millisecond after he learned manners, he already was dead. Taking position. Weapon rearm. Unleash me. Strike. Yes, commander. Good, both of them enraged. Here. We still have action point, um, points to left uh, to spend for this here. damage this should lead to support fire and we're dealing a lot of damage I mean How pitiful. <laughs> yeah, well, 
have sanctified my realms. That Chaos Marine might live for one more for one more turn. But we are going to be teleported out. Teleport coordinates locked. Initiating sequence. Fill me! Good, my point is this was a surprisingly straightforward uh, mission. And I would have expected, to be honest, uh, that we are going to have a little bit more problems. But we didn't. Why did we only collect one seed? I extracted multiples, so three of them were killed with melee weapons. Hmm. We got a lot of five damage bolters. I think we're collecting or we're, we're taking those five damage borders simply because uh, that one damage makes all of the difference hmm that's not bad but it is power armor and not terminator armor the servo skulls would have been cool No way. Plus eight hit points? That's nice. Okay, we're definitely going to take that one. That's dope. That is really good. Can offset uh, when some of our uh, some of our knights are injured. So this here is important to get the teleportation uh, boost and the further teleportation is important as well. I will consider that upgrade. The warp charge sometimes was fine, but maybe we're this time building a little bit more into the support fire route to see if that's any good. Linus gets another promotion. And the stun definitely plus one turn and plus one stun. I'm going heavily into this game, please. Don't make me regret it. Like this here seems is uh, like a good combination. Hmm. Fifty percent chance. Yeah, we're not that melee focused. I don't think that this here is a very good option. This here definitely has paid dividends. Extra willpower isn't bad either, to be entirely fair. Because two extra willpower means a lot. So maybe on the last level. We're simply getting willpower and hmm. The bio biomancy skill on any range is, I think, helpful as well. So, last level would be this and the biomancy. Let me get the biomancy now. We're going to do the plus one turn in a second uh, in in the next upgrade, and then the willpower is just passive, so that should not be a problem because I want to test that new skull first. Hail. Venus for starters. 
Um, loadout. All biomancy abilities can be used at long range. But it costs three willpower. That's not cool. Yeah, had I known that, I would have potentially not used the Apple uh, Thicarian Servo School. Nah. Look, this is simply better. Three. Uh, uh, three ammo because it doesn't cost you anything this here costs NAP but what does it even do for how long does uh, do all biomancy abilities work on long range can be used at long range. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm for the biomancies it is good, but it really doesn't doesn't help. Yeah, I think that was a missed skill point, but so be it. It is what it is. The game won't be lost just due to one skill point. Good, with the galaxy being bigger, we of course do have trouble to get all of the bloom under control. malfunctioning evidence of glitchling infestation detected sound glitchlings another nurgle menace they exist to corrupt our machines how do we fight them we hunt them to the last on the open battlefield a legion of such creatures would be a trivial match for a single gray knight locating them on the other hand impractical servitors will be more efficient half lunette deal with them All three knights will be unavailable. We have plenty of knights at the moment. <clears throat> Aye, our brothers can help purge this infestation. On mission, on mission and on mission. Fantastic, Jim is out for now. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But we can, we can still work around it. I mean, there, there would have been worse options. Good, that is not a big problem. That would not be a big problem either. We don't, we can't even reach this. Okay, so the question is this one here. For extra requisition. Or this one here.
I think the CF42 Grimoires is simply the better one. Good. Let's fly over there. Grandmaster report. Grandmaster, I have uncovered vital knowledge since we last spoke. I have just been acquainting myself with your recent report. It appears to begin quite innocently with a raid on a Nurgle-infested Eldari craft world. If that weren't enough, I can see this led to the advent of one, two, three, no, five greater demonic entities, heralding, it would appear, a most catastrophic outbreak of the bloom throughout your sector. Just what have you been up to, Inquisitor? If I could direct you to section CT2011-5, you would see that- Enough! I have no more patience for your ivory tower excuses, Commander. You are not without fault in all of this. I demand an immediate explanation. Indeed, you will certainly need one now that five greater demons run rampant in your sector. Explain why you did not destroy them immediately. I led the exploratory mission. I ordered your brothers to stay their hand while I investigated the Eldari Nexus. The responsibility was mine. Such unexpected humility. Ah, I commend you, Inquisitor. I did not think you capable of it. If I may, Grandmaster, what is crucial is that I now know how to combat this bloom. And so it would seem. I read of your plan to use some arcane xenotech to construct a Codex Toxicus, is it? Our chapter is no stranger to the use of foreign relics, but this is highly unorthodox. There is precedent. I have done my research. Oh, of that I have little doubt. Wherever you go, Inquisitor, your actions seem to leave a lasting impression. My entire council is in uproar over this news of our missing chapter, Lord. It seems I have little choice but to continue supporting your operation. I... thank you, Grandma. For your recklessness, however, I revoke your authority to command the Grey Knights in battle. You may join future combat missions when your talents are needed, but you will follow the commander's orders henceforth, to the letter. How could he possibly have known about Drago? I didn't include him in my report. I told him, of course. The manifestation of the Supreme Grand Master is an unprecedented event. You could have warned me at least. I report to the chapter, not to you. Intercession. This exchange is unproductive. Open collaboration will be necessary to execute this mission efficiently. Our first responsibility is to support the Commander. You are right, as always, Dominus. My apologies, Commander. I should have consulted with you before informing the Grand Master about Lord Drago. Always a pleasure. Those reports are always a pleasure. Good, we're spending all of our points to get better upgrades. And we need to fly faster, we need better warp speed. Good, we have zero armory uh, access. Uh, that means we're not getting any war gear for this. Well, fan effing tastic, isn't it? Good, let's prepare for the next mission.
All we're missing is a per uh, is a uh, Justy car, I think. We got Dan here. Dan is the only Justy car. So per definition, he is the most qualified for the job. He is the most qualified for the job. I will say though, we had a few new weapons. There we go. Five damage. Dan the man. He's currently running a good halberd. I like that. Alternative for going with the blade of um, Infernus, which is also not bad. The warding stave is unavailable. But Halbert. I think we're going double Halbert. Immune to weakened. The other alternative is more max willpower, which I think we're going to take. And disruptor slot, uh, disruptor school is good. Hmm. No, I think we're just going with the disruptor. That's good. And that's pretty much the team for next mission. Wait, 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 did we, didn't we get something else? I had eight hit points, but we don't need that at the moment. That was a really nice, a really nice armor um, upgrade though. Uh, what else did we have? Just the boulder, right? Boulder. And that. Did we get another armor? No, we did not. No, we did not. Okay. Listen, guys, that's it for today. I thank you so much for watching. Truly appreciate that. If you like Warhammer 40k, uh, don't be as mean as our uh, Grand Master and uh, give me a little hand here. I like button click would be a good start. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.